The fear of man is holding many Christians back from living out their God-given purpose. And any Christian can deal with the fear of man, even a great and mighty man of God. We see this with Elijah. Elijah just takes down 450 prophets of Baal. He sees fire fall down from heaven and consume this burnt offering. But then what happens? Jezebel sends a death threat and Elijah runs away and now he's praying prayers saying, God, end my life. Take it all now because of the fear of man. When you fear man, it holds you back from continuing to live out the call of God on your life. Timothy may have been a little bit timid, but Timothy had a gift from God, a call on his life and a purpose God wanted him to pursue. But Paul says, you got to stir up the gift of God within you, Timothy. God has given you a gift to evangelize, to pastor, maybe to teach, to shepherd God's people, just to plant good seeds or go and love on people out there. You have a gift of God within you. But then he tells Timothy, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So don't be ashamed of me or where I am. Paul is in prison at this time. He's telling Timothy, hey, don't be ashamed of me. Watch out for fear and stir up the gift of God within you. But what was holding Timothy back? It was the spirit of fear. So you must conquer this fear of man. So that way you can live out God's purpose for your life. What are three keys to conquer the fear of man? The first is power. Know that God has given you power, that he has made you bold, that when you pray and you call upon the mighty name of God, when you lift your sling, which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit, his promises, his destiny for your life, that you can slay the giants that are before you, that in the name of Jesus, there is power that those who believe in Jesus, they will cast out demons. In Jesus' name, they will heal the sick. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have power that Jesus left this earth and he has given you his Holy Spirit, which is one of power, and he has granted you authority and dominion in the Spirit over all the works of darkness. The power of God is living in you and God has given you a command to multiply in this earth as he has given you dominion over every living thing in the heavens and also in the spirit. There's a great blessing and a great authority upon your life. And this comes with a great humility that when we know we have this power, we must humble ourselves. But in order to conquer the fear of man, you got to know that the power of God is within you. You can pray for boldness if you need it. Peter prays for boldness. Paul prays for boldness to continue to, to speak God's word. And Ephesians 3.12 says that we receive this boldness through faith. We must have faith that God is making us bold. That God has not given you a spirit of fear, but one of power. So the second key is love. Knowing that love conquers fear. We see in the scriptures in 1 John chapter 4 that perfect love casts out fear, that it's God's perfect love that delivers us of every fear and sends that demonic fear back to the pits of hell because his love is encompassing around us. His love is leading us and guiding us and is wrapped around our hearts. 
that when we are uh, weak, His grace is sufficient. His grace makes us bold. His grace makes us strong. Know how much God loves you. This is not a feeling or, or, a, or a passion. This is just a truth. A truth that we see in the cross and the blood that was shed on that cross a love so great that when your eyes are set on the father and how much he loves you you can't have your eyes on people and their opinions and what they can do to you because if god is for you who can be against you and the third key to conquer the fear of man is a sound mind sound is sober it's well put together it's peaceful it's structured god has not given you a spirit of confusion god has given you a sound mind he's given you clarity to make wise decisions to think the right thoughts to have discernment to know the will of god knowing that that fear of man is not from god and that god is protecting you the word says he who dwells in the secret place of the almighty abides under the shadow of his wings so you know that god is covering you when you just fear him and you love him you know that he's covering you that he's protecting you that man cannot harm you but you must fear god who can destroy both the soul and the body in hell god has not given you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind let this encourage you to live out your calling for christ let this encourage you to conquer the death threats of jezebel or the conspiracies of the sambalots and the tobias let this encourage you to move forward and carry out your purpose and calling in god that that fear is not from god but his perfect love is more powerful than any demons or what any flesh can do to you. God bless you. God loves you. See you soon. In Jesus' name, bye-bye.